Scentsy friends, it's Angie, your independent Scentsy consultant, coming to you from my office. Um, okay, so I just peeked to see how long it's been since I did a Scentsy empties video, and it's been 10 days. And so coming from that context, the amount of wax I've warmed has been astronomical. Um, but it is what it is. I warm a lot of wax. It's, it's, it's my... It's my thing. Um, so anyway, this is a Scentsy Empties video, and I'm going to share with you what I've been warming in my home so that you can decide whether or not it works for your home. Some of these things are not available anymore. Um, that's because I have them in my Scentsy Club, or that I did have them in my Scentsy Club, and my Scentsy Club is a constant rotation. I'm constantly refining, trying to decide what scents I need to have in there for sure. Um, and I'm a little overwhelmed with the amount of wax here. Um, it's a lot, so I guess I should just get started. Oh, I did want to mention I am doing wax and wine this evening. I haven't even taken a sip yet. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon that I've gotten from Costco. I really like Costco's wines. I really like Cabernet Sauvignon. It's one of my favorite varietals. Um, I used to do wax and wine with my friend Jacinda all the time. And it's kind of sad. She um, she ended up signing up to be a Scentsy consultant. Um, she has not yet made any videos herself yet, but she did end up moving to Tennessee. As you know, we are in Virginia, so that is unfortunate. It makes doing wax and wine videos together really hard. She is coming to visit, I want to say like the end of this month. I know she's coming like the 22nd or 23rd, something like that. Um, in March, so we will have to figure out something to make a video about so that I can have my partner in crime on my uh, Sensi YouTube channel. <laughs> so anyway, she will be back. It'll be soon. Mm, that's so good. Um, I love. So she's a One Hope distributor as well. Um, One Hope is a uh, a wine company based out of Napa Valley that. Um, donates a portion of all of their proceeds to a nonprofit. Jacinda chooses my nonprofit and always has all of her earnings funnel into Sarah's Acts of Kindness, which is so super wonderful. Um, as somebody who loves wine and loves raising money for pediatric brain cancer research, it is a win-win. So I have a wine club with her and the um, money raised goes to Sarah's Acts of Kindness, and then her sales for her friends and people, um, it means that she is talking about us, and so she's telling people about Sarah's Acts of Kindness, she's spreading that word, spreading that awareness, um, and really helping get our name out there, so love that. Um, anyway, that is not what I've been warming. That is who I've been missing and um, who I miss doing wax and wine with because she is my bestie and I miss her dearly. Um, okay, currently in my basement. And I did not remember to get the scent notes for this one, but I did just finish this brick. It had like three and a half brick cubes left of frosted petals. As you know, I have eight warmers down here. So that wasn't enough to quite fill all my warmers. Um, and I actually have nine, 10 ish. I don't know. I have a lot of warmers. So I just wanted to fill them all. And so I complemented that with this, bring back my bar of sugar. So I actually am warming two bars of sugar. They like stain really bad currently in my house. One upstairs in my family room one in my basement, but you can see that these are two different Bring Back My Bar versions. This one was really old, like really old, like really discolored. That's the one that's currently mixed with Frosted Petals. And again, I did not get the scent notes for Frosted Petals, but it's like a musky floral. So sugar scent notes are fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. It is a dupe for Aqualina's pink sugar. It is not fruity to me. It is musky and kind of perfumey, but that is sugar. So the last thing I warmed in my basement was a mix and I mixed the Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl with Disney Princess True Love Awaits. So I did a little 
Disney Princess mix. Currently, my 21-year-olds are, well, Julie's turned 21 December 30th. Annalise turns 21 on Pi Day. Super fun. Um, they are at Disney in, um, in Florida. They're Disney World. And they are at Epcot, which, as you know, Epcot is doing their Flower and Garden Festival. And Scentsy is the fragrance of, the official fragrance of Walt Disney World. And so they got to see the, the Blossoms of Fragrance Scentsy um, from the Flower and Garden Festival. You see there, this is an Epcot bar from last year's Flower and Garden Festival, Soft Plumeria. It is back. They are doing a fragrance flower in that one. Mint Fields and Heirloom Rose. Those were the three that were there last year. And then there's three new fragrances. Anyway, I digress. I'm all over the place, you guys. I've only had one sip of wine. I don't know what's going on. It's been a, it's been a, actually a doozy. Um, okay, so Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl. Uh, Enchanting Strawberry, Raspberry, Lime, and Sea Mist. Strawberry, Raspberry, Lime, and Sea Mist. So it's fruity fresh, right? If you think about those set notes. Kiss the, okay, so this is the True Love Awaits. Ripe Raspberry, so that mix is blends with this raspberry. Um, sparkling Mandarin and Sweet Vanilla. So this is just fruity, this is fruity fresh. They blended beautifully together. I think that the Sweet Vanilla in this is a little bit florally, maybe. But um, these are delightful combined. Okay, so moving on to the soft plumeria. This was what I um, had in my entranceway. <laughs> it's so good. Um, it is a, a sweet white floral, and I warmed it in my entrance, and it was strong and long-lasting and fresh and kind of cleansing. Pink plumeria evokes memories of island days with a slice of sweet apple and warm white teak wood. It's, this is... I clubbed this scent, so I don't always get the Epcot version, um, but this one is so good. Love it. Currently in my kitchen, I have strawberry lemon cake, which did come back. This was the scent of the month last, like, March, I think. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, in my kitchen, it's a good place for it. Stretch, stretch. Fresh strawberries. See, I can't even talk. Like this is why I don't usually. I try. I try not to record videos when I'm tired because I like, can't get my stuff together. Fresh strawberries add a sweet surprise to lemon zest and vanilla buttercream. Vanilla buttercream. Sorry, I can't read my own writing either. Creating a perfectly delicious confection. This one is so yum. It is. So sweet, so fruity, so creamy, so dreamy. Strawberry lemon cake. I don't get a ton of lemon from this. I get the strawberry and the cake and the butter. Like the buttercream. Oh, it's so good. So, 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 so good. Okay, and so I did tell you that I'm warming sugar in my family room. Love story. In my bedroom. Innocent pink jasmine and sensual amber. Embraced by luscious dark chocolate. I actually just took that out today and put in vanilla cream uh, that is the January 23 bring back my bar of French vanilla and coconut milk mm, so good okay so currently in my entrance I am warming mango margarita it's from the gogo -Go mango Sensepirations collection a burst of tropical fruits blended with juicy mango and a dash of sparkling citrus love 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 mango margarita that's my favorite of the inspirations and I literally just like hop right into wax I didn't even talk about the fact that I threw a large tub of black raspberry vanilla washer whiffs a pack of dryer discs in pink cotton a pack of pods for my car that the pod packs is pineapple and fuego but the pods inside are jeweled pomegranate and windowsill breeze okay that's the only non-wax stuff everything else is wax 10 days, you guys, 10 days. Um, but a lot happens in 10 days around here. This is a busy house. Okay, in the kitchen, I warmed grapefruit sunshine. That was the last one I did. Follow brisk citrus, pink grapefruit, and subtle vanilla to a brighter place. Um, I started, so these were the ones that I, I put in on Sunday morning. And, um, and then the other ones I did this evening. So 
just so you know. I change my wax usually about every other day. Mandarin Moon was last in my family room. It was uh, the one I put in Sunday. This is a bring back my bar from January 2022. Um, but it has set memories for me for when my, my first batch of kids were little. So as you know, I have college age kids. Sarah, who passed away. Julie's 21. Ava's 18. Annalise is my adopted, beautiful daughter. And then I have two littles. Rowan is three. JC is one. This is from my first batch. It reminds me of them. It is spirited cinnamon, glowing ginger, orange, and star anise. It's like a spiced orange scent. It's delicious. Love it so much. Um, Shamrock Splash. I just put this in my warming drawer. Um, a lot of people have a warming basket that they pull from. Uh, so I have I have a bunch of waxes down here that I use for my basement warms, obviously, because I'm in my basement. Um, upstairs, I don't have a warming basket. I have a literal drawer in my um, coffee table full of wax. And I stock it per, like, this season. And I try to think of, like, what I'm going to want to warm in the near future. And I kind of tend to bring stuff up as I bring stuff down, like, kind of thing. Um, so anyway stack it stock I was stocking my my warming drawer and I did pause about shamrock splash and I think I have some up there I'm not entirely sure but this shamrock splash I warmed in my kitchen juicy tangerine red strawberry and jasmine blossom it is pretty light but it's it's got so much scent appeal for me I really like it um I went through like a minute where I wanted minty scents so white out I warmed in my entrance. This one is in my club. Maybe I took it out because I started the stockpile, but now I'm warming through my stockpile pretty quickly. Um, this was a June 2023 Bring Back My Bar. Cool Peppermint, Golden Apple, and Winter Pine. And I think it was in a monthly club. That's why I started to get a stockpile. Um, my monthly club actually just shipped. And so I need to, I need to really take a hard look at what I'm bringing in monthly. Again, I warm through all of this wax in 10 days. Whatever is coming in monthly, I can warm it. Like, is it a challenge? But I'm getting that monthly, plus I'm getting seven bars of the bring of the bar, the warmer, the scent of the month, plus I'm getting a quarterly club, plus I'm ordering new collections, new releases, bars that I want to warm just for funsies. So I really should minimize what I'm getting monthly so that I'm not creating a larger and larger and larger stockpile for myself because I don't want to become in a situation where I have to only warm my club bars because I can't bring in new things or I end up with 9,000 bars of wax in my house, which I don't see happening because I warm a lot. Okay. I still have all of this left 10 days. Chamomile petals in my basement. Let a medley of chamomile petals, jasmine, and apple transport you to a sunny afternoon, which means that there's another bar of chamomile petals. Okay, so I warm these both in my basement. Here's my thoughts on this. When this came out as a scent of the month last year, I could not smell it. It was not strong enough for me. It did not last for me. It was not it. And then I let these sit because I didn't know what to do with them because I couldn't smell them. And they cured. And now they're amazing. Um, these were strong. These were long lasting. They smelled like um, a fresh floral tea, but mostly floral scent note. Um, they This scent is reminiscent of fresh cut daisies, but is not fresh cut daisies. Um, fresh cut daisies is really strong. I have warmed that this season and those might be in here as well, but this was surprisingly good surprisingly good so chamomile petals um it's not available i can't get more of it it's not in my club or anything like that but unfortunately oh this is when i was on my mint kick marshmallow mint cocoa i warmed this in my kitchen at the same time that i warmed white out in my entrance and then in my family room at the same time i feel like i had another mint scent at the literal same time so that i could really mint it out but now i don't see that Peppermint Rush. Okay, so literally the last claim that I touched. Okay, so in the kitchen, cozy up with a mug of hot chocolate as airy marshmallow 
and peppermint float above a rich layer of creamy cocoa. Marshmallow mint cocoa. So I had white out, marshmallow mint cocoa, and peppermint rush. It was minty. And this was in my family room. It is a 2023 20, scent of the season. Peppermint, vanilla, and snow. <laughs> I always smell peppermint and vanilla, but I don't actually know what snow smells like. I love it. It's so good. Okay. Pink berry fluff. I put this in my club and I took out sugar and pink haze. Pink berry fluff. I warm this in my entrance. It says it is pink berry, marshmallow, and vanilla bean. To me, this smells like pink haze and sugar mixed together. And um, I still have quite a few bars of pink haze and sugar because it was in my monthly club. Both of them were in my monthly club and I was getting a stockpile. Um, and I feel like I started to kind of get a stockpile of this as well. I, I don't find myself kind of veering towards those types of scents in the winter. Um, I find that I tend to be a pretty seasonal mel melter. Which is why even there's like, there's a few minty things in there. This is mostly like spring, summer. I'm really, you know, I'm a gardener. So I'm starting my seeds. I'm really focusing on spring. I'm really ready to embrace all that spring brings. A new year, new life. You know, the garden becomes so rich. I've been, you know, shoveling compost in my free time and stuff. So like, um my scent preferences tend to like channel that. So, so you will see that like, I've kind of already veered towards spring, summer, which is great because the catalog has changed over to spring, summer as well. Um, but yeah, so where was I even going? I don't know. Anyway, it's spring, summertime. Oh, pink haze and sugar and pink berry fluff. I don't tend to warm those in the winter no particular reason why just I think in my head those are spring and summer scents um sorry Dumbo 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 warm this in my family room this is in my monthly club it is Rowan's signature scent when Rowan was born she was a rainbow baby so she was a baby after a loss um we lost my 18 year old daughter in um kind of tragically to brain cancer she had a relapsed Dermonoma, which is a very treatable, highly survivable form of pediatric brain cancer. And after she died, we were all collectively devastated. And my whole family really struggled. And um, we had been trying to have a baby before her relapse. And we put on pause when she was sick. And then, you know, as she, she spent like... 10 weeks in the ICU. So we definitely were not actively doing the IVF during that period. And so then, so Sarah died in November of 2018 and Rowan was born in June of 2020. Kind of rough timing there. Um, but when Rowan was born, I had a Dumbo uh, circus parade sent back in the diaper bag that went with us to the hospital. And every outfit that I put on her in the hospital smelled like this. So this is in my club. It will stay in my club. Rowan was the first bit of joy that we had uh, after just the most horrific loss you can imagine. So this reminds me of that, that ray of sunshine, that ray of hope. My mom actually said that she didn't know how badly she needed her until she was here and she met her and then it was like oh I need that like this is this is a bomb for my soul because you know there's nothing more devastating than the loss of a child and so yes so this brings very good memories sweet clementine creamy peach fresh mango and vanilla bean this to me smells like the perfect baby scent so yes my rainbow baby Cotton Candy Tails. Um, I want this. Oh, this I made samples with. This is strawberry, caramel, and fresh air, I think. Strawberry, car the caramel comes out real strong. Comes out really, really strong. Um, love it. 
Take Me to Paradise. This I warmed in the kitchen. It is new from Spring and Summer 24. Sweet cake infused with juicy orange and island rum will whisk you away to paradise. It is so good. It is not strong enough. I wish it were a little bit stronger. I wish it lasted a little bit longer, but I do really, really, really like it. Cozy Cashmere. This was a it from the Cozy Collection. And she was kind of getting a little bit funky and a little bit juicy. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, I warmed this in my bedroom. Sweet Blackberries, Rich Amber, Cashmere Musk. It was the Cozy Collection from November of 2019 which explains why it's a little bit juicy. Um, I recently recognized that I had like the little house, like the little box, and that it had all of the bars in it. Um, I was a new consultant when this came out, and I did not warm those ones. I'm not sure what happened. I mean, I warmed, I think I had a second set, and I warmed mine, but I didn't warm that, and I just like let it sit. I don't know. So anyway, cozy cashmere. Saddle up. I warmed saddle up in my bedroom. Capture some on the range reverie with soft suede, aged leather, sheer musk, and a breath of fresh air. So this is so random. And I don't know if everybody else that's been through like a tragedy, like a like a life-defining tragedy has like certain milestones or certain things that like stick with them. But so Sarah was born May 11th in 2000 and Saddle Up was the scent of the month for May of the year that I joined. Yes, I think it was May of 2019. Squeeze the Day, funny story, was the scent of the month for June 2019. Um, scent, squeeze the Day obviously became a catalog staple. It hasn't left the catalog, I don't think. Maybe it wasn't available for like the winter, but last winter it was available for winter. Now it's available again for summer. But um, Saddle Up was the scent of the month, the month that I joined, and it was Sarah's birthday month. Um, so my sponsor, her name is Lisa, and she and Sarah were really good friends, like really tight. Like Sarah considered her as another mom and a mom figure in her life. And so she would like to send Lisa a Mother's Day card. Like she was like super warm and loving like that. And so um, Lisa's my sponsor. And the month that I joined, they were doing, since he was doing a joint promotion and it was a deal and it was like $20. And it was Sarah's birthday month. And so Lisa was doing a, um, like a Scentsy box, like a curated box that she was sending out to her customers who prepaid in advance. And I had prepaid for my box um, because it was going to be Sarah themed in honor of Sarah's birthday. And um, and so there was a lot of like really cool items inside, like a sample of Southern Sweet Tea, the scent that's like peach iced tea kind of scented. Sarah loves sweet tea. And so Southern Sweet Tea was one of the scents in there. And I, I just always think about May of 2019 when I joined getting the Sarah box and one of the cute things that Lisa did in that Sarah box was that she made magnets out of pictures of Sarah from like I guess she stole them from my Facebook or something like really great and like she included these in like boxes that she sent to her customers so sweet anyway that's my May of 2019 story it was six months after Sarah passed and it was her first birthday that I had to do without her here and as a mom that's a tough time and saddle up I remember very clearly I do really like it Sarah would have liked it too but we all know that Sarah's favorite scent was mulberry bush um pink berry sandalwood this is a new release yes new for the spring and summer 2024 I warm this in my bedroom it is definitely a bedroom scent um pink berry and fresh cherry at a sweet pop at a sweet pop to tonka bean and sandalwood sorry I it, so it's not just my handwriting, it's that it like starts to smear from the oils that are like kind of left behind on the packaging. Okay, just three more. Monster Zinc Monstropolis. This is currently warming in Rowan and JC's rooms. And it is mandarin, watermelon, pineapple, and lush palms. And these 
bars are starting to get a little bit juicy. So it's time to get them out of here in the warmer. I'm not going to let them juice up all over the place and become worthless. Peach and grapefruit. Okay, I just said grapefruit. Y'all, grapefruit is not a word. Peach and grapefruit mimosa. This is in the current Easter collection. I warmed it in my family room. It is bright grapefruit, sweet peach, and a dash of vanilla, which makes me think I missed a bar because did I do grapefruit sunshine? Because I warmed this in the family room at the same time the grapefruit sunshine was warming in my kitchen. I must have already done it because I don't see it in my stack. Last, but very certainly not least, sipping poolside. So this is so pretty. It looks like a swimming pool with the little waves. Sipping poolside, new spring and summer 24. Fresh pear, sparkling citrus, and tranquil aquatic accord. I don't get any of those scent notes. I get... I mean, okay, so I get aquatic. There's like an aquatic sense to it. Like it, it definitely has an aquatic vibe, but I'm not sure that like I would pick out pear or citrus necessarily in this bad boy. This to me smells like, something floral. It reminds me of, of like, if Atlantic air, had a baby with like if Atlantic Air had a baby with somebody because <laughs> it's like Atlantic Air light it doesn't have that orchid note that Atlantic Air has Atlantic Air has like a strong floral and this I feel like has a light floral this is like you're at the pool but the pool is at the beach. You know those pools where you can like see the beach from the pool? So you're at the pool and like maybe there's some jasmine nearby. And maybe like a fruity drink. I think perhaps a fruity drink. A fruity drink, not necessarily pear, pear flavored drink, I don't know. Um, maybe a fresca, <laughs> maybe having a fresca by the pool. And there's an ocean right there and there's a little jasmine kind of crawling up the rail of the pool. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that is what I've gotten through in the last 10 days. It has taken me almost 30 minutes to tell you all the things that I've warmed in 10 days. Guys, it's a lot. What, what am I even? Um, <laughs> I get comments all the time that I smell like candles. I work in a... Um, like a facility that people are not supposed to smell like a lot. You're not like the goal is to not have a, a strong smell. So like I brush my teeth and I wear deodorant and like, that's it. As far as like scented products go. I mean, sometimes at night I'll like put on a scented lotion or something, but like I don't wear perfume. I don't wear a body mist at work because it's frowned upon in my industry. And I get comments all the time that I smell like candles um, to the point where like it's almost like am I gonna get in trouble for the way that I smell I mean I use Scentsy detergents right but like everybody uses laundry detergent um, and literally they tell me that it's me my body smells like Scentsy um, I've had people say that they can smell that I've been there after I've left I loaned someone a book. She said this book smells like candles. Um, my my 18 year old daughter used to tell me in high school that her friends always said that she smelled like candles. I mean, it's like, baby, I've smelled your friends. It's probably a compliment because they're not smelling like candles. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> I changed my wax a lot and now I feel like it has made me and my whole family smell like a lot of scentsy. Um, I did, I had a friend come over actually Friday night and she was wearing a hoodie and she left and she went to put that hoodie on again, like a different day and was like, wow, my hoodie smells so much like scentsy and goodness gracious. Um, so yeah, 
uh, apparently, apparently my house has got a very um, permeating scent to it, probably because I change my wax so very often. Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, wonderful evening. It is Tuesday. We've already had a doozy of a week. Our One of our dearest friends is in the hospital. Chrissy's with her now. I went and sat with her during my lunch break today and like hung out with her. Um, and I'll go and sit with her again at my lunch break tomorrow. Um, so it's already been like kind of a crazy week. And then tomorrow I'm going to go get x-rays done of my hands. We are kind of looking to see if we can determine like what exactly is going on with me. Like as far as my autoimmune conditions are concerned. Um, it's very obvious that I have several, but like, you know, are there some that we're missing? Um, so I'm going to go get my hands x-rayed in the morning and then I will, um, teach science on Thursday. That's super exciting. So I'm going to be, um, going to our local elementary school and teaching fifth graders how to paint with bacteria. It's a super, actually a super cool lesson and love that. And then, um, yeah, so it's just, it's kind of one of those weeks where it's like, everything is kind of happening all at once and we're just all trying to keep our heads above water and um get stuff done anyway i hope you enjoyed seeing what i've been warming i would really love to hear what you guys have been warming do you have any scents that have like special scent memories for you i feel like i went over a lot of like special scent memory scents in this one so i'm curious to know if you guys have any scents that like really remind you of a special time or remind you of a special someone um yeah so what have you guys been warming and what scent memories do sensi scents have for you i will talk to you all soon and uh see ya bye guys